The London project um, was initiated in 2007 to take a stem cell therapy to an eye disease known as age-related macular degeneration within five years. And basically that therapeutic is to replace eye cells that die in the back of the eye that the support the seeing part of the eye, the neural retina, by turning stem cells into those eye cells that die but combining in it with a patch, an artificial patch. In that middle layer, cells die. So can we just simply put cells back? That was it, it's very simple. So stage two just recently uh, was funded following a generous donation from the Michael Uren Foundation uh, of three million pounds. So what we are doing now is going to the next stage, which is instead of using the source of cells, the stem cells we were, we're using the patient's own cells. So you can take a sample of skin and you can turn it back into a stem cell and then effectively turn it into any cell you want. So uh, blood cells, vascular cells, neural cells, support cells, etc. So it's to rebuild a whole macula. So we can start to use their own cells to discover new therapies. And that's exactly what we're doing now at Moorfields. We've got another eight patients uh, on the go uh, or on the way and once we've actually completed that trial uh, as long as we can show that there's good safety and good visual outcome then uh, we go back to government and ask whether we can go through a new um, uh, advanced therapeutic route which will allow that therapy to go quickly into the NHS. Literally three months ago what we managed to do was use that technology to take a piece of a person's skin to grow an eye cup, because the, now the development is moved on, and that patient had a genetic problem. We had his retina in a dish and we were able to use a whole battery of therapies and treatments to see which ones would actually help that um, disease. These are blue sky projects. The idea is to actually introduce a therapeutic into the NHS, which is affordable for the NHS, uh, which is one thing I've been stressing. These are affordable therapeutics, which actually, if they work, could save the NHS millions of pounds because they're restorative. Stem cells, bringing your own cells in, being able to correct those diseases is going to be a new area. Basically, my career has been to actually produce a therapeutic for a blinding disorder, which up until now hasn't had any real uh, possibility of a therapy. So age-related macular degeneration, in terms of trying to cure what ends up in blindness, still even to this day hasn't been achieved. So this is a major achievement for me, but great in terms of those patients.